Now, Iran and Israel's tensions, long reaching for boiling point, have finally blown up. Iran has started an airborne attack against Israel, launching over 200 drones as part of what it calls Operation True Promise. Iran says ballistic missiles have also been fired. These are the first visuals. We have the missiles fired by Iran. A barrage of objects are seen flying through the night sky over Bethlehem from Iran and headed towards Israel. As you can also hear, sirens were activated in Jerusalem at around 1.45 a.m. local time. Loud explosions were heard with the air defense systems shooting down objects over the city. The multiple interceptions lit up the night sky. As air raid sirens ring out, the Israel Defense Forces have assured people that the aerial defense array is fully operational and is intercepting threats wherever required. An alert has been raised that people may hear explosions from interceptions or debris falling. Reacting to the attack by Israel, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has looked to reassure its citizens that the country is ready for every kind of scenario as he underscored that Israel would hit back and defeat its enemies. Citizens of Israel in recent years and especially in recent weeks, Israel has been preparing for a direct attack on Iran. Our defensive systems are deployed. We are ready for any scenario, both defensively and offensively. The state of Israel is strong. The Israel Defense Forces is strong. We have determined a clear principle. Whoever harms us, we will harm them. We will defend ourselves against any threat and will do so level-headedly and with determination. Citizens of Israel, I know that you are also level-headed. I call on you to follow the directives of the IDF Home Front Command. Together, we will overcome all our enemies. Now, Iran has named the attack Operation True Promise. An Iranian military statement confirms that the attack is in retaliation for Israel's quote-unquote repeated crimes, including the first April attack on the Iranian consulate, which Iran has blamed on Israel. The attack happened in Syria's capital of Damascus, where high-level Iranian officials were killed. It says that it will strike, Iran rather says it will strike again if Israel retaliates. Citing Article 51 of the UN Charter of its attack, the message from Iran reads, and I'm quoting here, the matter can be deemed concluded. However, should the Israeli regime make another mistake, Iran's response will be considerably more severe. It is a conflict between Iran and the Israeli regime from which the U.S. must stay away. In the same statement, Iran also calls Israel a rogue state. Article 51 of the UN Charter says that member states have the inherent right of individual or collective self-defense if an armed attack occurs. U.S. President met his national security team for an update on Iran's attacks against Israel. He reiterated that U.S.'s commitment to Israel's security against threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.